Hey guys, it's Marcus here from AffiliateMarketingDude.com and in this video what we're going to do is we're going to create some banner ads. Now a lot of people say that banners are dead and people don't see banners and banners don't work. Well the secret here is to make a banner not look like a banner. Imagine if you were watching the Super Bowl and you saw a commercial that actually looked like part of the Super Bowl you'd be much more interested, probably until you found out it was commercial. But on the internet, things are different, and we can lure people in by getting their attention in really simple, interactive ways. So what we're going to do is we're going to create banners, just like this little banner that I have at the top of my site for my free software, and we're going to show you how to create a banner for a site and in the major sizes that you need to have to do major marketing and obviously get lots of clicks and make lots of money. So step number one is to find out where we want our banner to run, right? Do you want it to be on Google AdSense? Do you want it to be on a certain site? Do you want to advertise somewhere? And you want to customize it for a certain site or a certain brand of sites or something like that so that you know what your visitor is looking for, what their eye is attracted to. And the goal is to get their eye attracted to your ad and get the click. The number one goal of your banner is to get the click and try to get them pre-qualified. But again, remember, oftentimes you're paying per impression. That means I'm paying every time someone sees my ad, not necessarily when they click it. So that's very important because you're paying every time they see it, which means that you need to get as many clicks as possible, which makes your cost per click go way, way, way down. So let's go ahead and take a look at some places we can advertise. Now one of the easiest things you can do is simply go to the number one keyword that you want. Like for example, let's say I want to do make money online. Okay, if I do make money online, what I want to do is take a look at the top sites that are ranking in the organic or free search engine rankings. And I want to go through and look for one that's, you know, not too big, but dedicated to what we're looking for. Okay, so we have Lifehack, ABC News. These are all pretty big. Let's take a look at maybe SaveTheStudent.org. All right, so here we have Student Deals. Looks like a big site. Here's some kind of branding. Okay, so it doesn't look like too much stuff here. What we want to look for is if there is some kind of banner advertising or somewhere that we can put our ad. In this one, we're way down before we even started. So let's go to the next one. We don't want to do wiki or daily finance or something like that. What we want to do is just kind of go through and see where people are. There's Money Saving Expert. Okay, here's one like johnchow.com. Let's see if he's got something. Now with this SEO Quake toolbar, we can kind of see at a glance what's going on with the site, right? We can see here that the rank in Alexa is 12,000, which is good. The lower the number, the better. That means that only 12,711 sites get more traffic than him out of the entire web. That's pretty good. Now another good thing I see is that there's a banner across the top, another banner over here. We have some sponsors down here. And all we got to do is go through these and find out if he has an advertising link. Okay, so we're going to go through and we'll say, okay, well, does he have some kind of advertising? Let's scroll up. There we go. Advertise right here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at what's going on. Okay, so we can see he's getting about 3,000 page views per month, 200,000 unique visitors. That's pretty darn good. Let's take a look at what else we have. Okay, so your options are... You can get a Stripe ad like this one up here for about $250 a month. Then we have a 728 by 90 that appears on the top of every page. Okay, that's kind of cool for a thousand bucks a month. We have a 300 by 250 embedded ad sponsorship. This one is $500. So far, this looks like the best bang for the buck here. And we have these little 125 guys here that go for 500 a month. So obviously this is going to be the best one here. And a full site sponsorship. Full sites are located, recent articles. Okay, so some kind of link thing here and a sponsored review. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the two that I would go for, which is a 728 by 90, very popular size. And if you're confused about the banner sizes, just go to Google and type in top banner ad sizes. And we can see that several of his are on here, 350 by, or 300 by 250, 728 by 90. 
Okay, these are very popular sizes, so we want to kind of keep that in mind when we're working with it. Now, what we want to do is we want to say, well, what's his site look like? Okay, so it looks like the top banner is up here in gray, so it'd probably be kind of cool to have maybe something in gray or maybe look at the other ones. Let's take a look at his 251, and we'll actually make two for this specific site. Okay, so we have the so we have the 728 by 90 here, and okay, premium sponsor. Looks like anything goes, but it's a white background. Very, 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 very important to look at. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start out with a 728. So now what we want to do first and foremost is we want to have two programs. We want to either have the free version of Composer, which is an HTML editor, Microsoft Word, or Front Page 2003. Okay, either one of those will work, and we want to have Snagit. You should be able to get a 60-day trial of Snagit to start using it right away if you want to, and then obviously I think it's like 30 bucks if you upgrade or something. So what we're going to do is we're going to use Snagit, which once it's installed, all you have to do is see this little button here or hit print screen. I'm going to hit print screen, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little capture of this banner. All right, right like this. Okay, now we got 728 by 91. I'm going to put it 728 by 90, and I'm going to hit Capture. Now, the reason I'm doing this is simply for the sizing. Okay, so I'm going to hit Copy All, and I'm going to put this into my front page or my Microsoft Word or whatever, simply for the sizing. Okay, so now I have some kind of reference of how wide it is. So if I make my banner, like, too small or let's say I make it too wide, I'm going to know. But I know that, you know, this is about right, right here. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to think about his site, and I want to say, okay, so he's got like a gray type look. So his page is gray, so we're going to make our page gray, right, like this. Let's see if it matches. Eh, it looks like a pretty good match, maybe a little bit, a little bit lighter. Okay, and this does make a difference, by the way. I'm not just being picky. Okay, uh, because it's going to actually look like part of its site. There we go. Now, see how you can't even see that little gray line that was up there? Um, and it obviously matches very well his gray here. Okay, we're matching this gray right here. And you can see it's very, very similar um, to the gray over here. Okay, very important. So now that we have that, what we want to do is think about the type of ad we want to make. This obviously looks like a banner. We don't want to go for that. We want to try to make our own. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, well, what do we want? We want to get clicks of people interested in making money blogging. Okay, so we could do something like get Marcus's free blogging, not blogging toolbar and turn your computer into a money getting machine instantly okay and we'll just do the spelling here put machine all right turn your computer into a money getting machine instantly now if it's like this we can actually make our our words bigger okay i like it to look nice so we're gonna do let's see here we're gonna make it here into a money getting machine instantly okay cool so now what we want to do is make this a good color, okay? So there we go, get Marcus's blogging, blah, 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 blah. Now, if we wanted to make this like a sideways or a, um, you know, to where it, oops, let's see here, I did that wrong. If we wanted to make this something like over here, we can do it this way also and just kind of line it up. So get Marcus's free blogging toolbar and turn your computer into a money-getting machine instantly, okay? Now what we're going to do is I like to put like a little checkbox or something. You can do something like maybe go in and hit insert. You can do form. We can do drop down box. Okay, we're just going to take this drop down box, this part here. We don't need the other stuff because this is just a banner. Okay, money getting machine instantly. So we could say uh, add download for Windows XP. Now, the cool thing about this is it's going to look like there's a drop-down box, and they're going to click it, but it's a banner. So they're going to go to our site after they click it, which is really cool. Okay? Easy, simple, good to use. 
Okay, so there we go. Get Marcus's free blogging toolbar and turn your computer into a money-getting machine instantly. Okay, and then we can go through and add little things. Um, I like to add little images and stuff. So if we add like a little new button here, right like that, you can use any image. All you have to do is copy and paste it just like we did to snag it this thing. Okay, so new, get Marcus's free blogging toolbar and turn your computer into a money-getting machine. Next, we'll go ahead and put another tagline here. We'll do something like get Marcus's free software and start making money online. So let's make these blue like this, okay? Because blue is natural for people to click on. That's what they're used to. We'll make this bold, right, like that. Okay, and we can put like another new or we can put like a download button or something like that. Um, something that kind of grabs their attention. And we could do that and snag it as well. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take a look at this. It looks about the right size and we have a little border thing here. So what we're going to do is we're going to do print screen and we're going to go ahead and capture it. And what we want to do is get as close to 728 by 90 as possible. And let's see, 728, All right, like this, and 90. Yep. And we can always edit it as well. So now we got 730 by 90, we'll go 728 by 90. Oops, not like that. 728, All right, like this, and capture it. Now, there we go. Now we have our banner all ready to go in Snagit. Now, because I am completely picky about how this stuff works. I'm going to redo this and make this get Marcus's software a little bit below the rest of the stuff. So we're going to put some little breaks in here. Okay, so we'll go like this. Oh, that's too big of a break. Let's do like this. Okay, so now we'll just recapture it. And again, this stuff totally makes a difference, so pay attention. All right, so 728 by 90. Zoop, right like this. Sometimes you need a steady hand, and I think we got it. All right, now, capture. Much better. Now what we can do is we can add, like, a little button here. Maybe we can add, like, download now or something. So if we go here and we copy this and just paste it on here. And, again, you can snag it anything. Obviously, just make sure um, that you have the rights to it. Right, don't just go like copying the Disney logo or something like that. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do uh, no, we don't want to enlarge the image, shrink this guy down, and put him right here. All right, like this. All right, so now it looks like we got like our little template thing here. We got our uh, download now button, and we're ready to go. So now we have created a simple little banner ad, a 728 by 90 banner ad, and we can actually go ahead and run this on that site. Super simple, super easy, doesn't take much to it. You just basically make it work, right? It's very easy to use. Now we can also go in and add like little arrows or something if we wanted to uh, using Snagit, right like this, right like this, and we'll make it smaller. Okay, width, we'll make it like two. Right, and we'll just kind of go in and paste these guys here. And you can drag and drop and make them look cool. Right, like this. Okay. And now we got our little free download. And we're ready to go. Free download. There we go. Cool little banner. Looks good. And it's going to match really well on the site. So if we go here and we do something like uh, copy. Let's go ahead and copy him. And file. Now all we got to do is hit file save as and we'll save this as um, banner j chow okay now we have a site or we have a banner for his site now same kind of thing if you want to make a different size again remember um, on the page we said okay this is a good one all right and also another good one is this premium sponsor box as well so we're going to take a screenshot of him he's 328 or i'm sorry three 25 by some 350 by 250 or something like that 300 by 250 there we go okay so we'll shrink it down make it the exact size 300 by 250 and copy all right 
Now what we're going to do, it doesn't matter if it's kind of like weird looking like that. Again, all we're doing is going for uh, the size. That's the only reason we need this. Now again, look at how his looks like a banner. What we're going to do is we're going to make ours look not like a banner. Okay, so we take our picture here. Now this one we want to make white. So we're going to go ahead and page properties. We're going to make it white. Automatic, or let's do white. Right like this. Okay, now all we got to do is say free software. Let's do free seven day blog profits download. Okay, right like this. We'll make it a little bit bigger, make it aerial. I like that. Okay, looks pretty good. Looks like it lines up. Again, remember your white space. Remember how it looks. You don't want it completely overwhelming. You want it to be pretty easy to look at. Okay, so we have free seven day blog profits download. Okay, let's look for, okay, so we got that free seven day blog profits download. We can do the same kind of thing here and just do like a table. Let's see if we can do a table that's blank. All right, free seven day blog profits download. Get Marcus's download toolbar. Or we can actually just edit this one, right? Okay. Get Marcus's free blogging toolbar and turn your computer into a money getting machine instantly. Okay, that's looking kind of cool. Let's take a look at how we can edit this and make it the right size. Well, since we got a lot of space here, we can actually put this down here. Okay, so free, do, 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 do. Okay, looking good. Get Marcus's free blogging toolbar. Maybe we could put our new button somewhere else. Or let's see, get Marcus's free blogging toolbar. Maybe we could shrink the text down a little bit. Okay, now again, you'll be able to edit this and snag it. So it doesn't have to be completely perfect. So you have get Marcus's free blogging toolbar and turn your computer into a money getting machine instantly. Okay, so looking pretty good there. Let's uh, leave a spot for our download button, right like that. And now we can put something, we can put get Marcus's free stuff, software and start making money online instantly. Okay, right like this. All right, so we're all within the bounds. Looks like we're getting pretty close here. We could do something below like Marcus has made, has been marketing online since July 2000. Okay, all right, like that. And let's just scroll this up so you can see what's going on here. Okay, so we'll shrink this down. Marcus has been making money online a little bit bigger, right like that. Okay, so we could do something like that. Pretty good looking. Again, all we got to do is print screen, right like this. Now we can see that we're at 208. All right, so we have a little bit more size to go to 250. So 345 by 250. So what we want to do is try to shrink this guy down a little bit and get him in the 300 space. And if we don't, that's okay because we can actually edit the sizing on Snagit. So we'll go here, we'll do image. I think there's a resize, resize, resize image. And we'll do, uh, let's see, percent. Let's try 75%. Nope, that's 254. Let's try 90%, 305. Let's try 88%, 298, 89%, 302. Okay, so we can kind of trim it down from the 302. Uh, let's see if we could do like 89 or 88.5. Maybe that'll, oops, guess it doesn't do points. Okay, so we'll do 88. And then we can kind of like grow it here. One pixel this way and one pixel this way. Now, again, we're going to have some space here because see here it's 320 by 220. So we want to do, uh, or 300 by 220, we want to be 300 by 250. There's 274, 59, 55. 54, and we'll scroll it down a little bit. 51, getting closer. There we go, 300 by 250, right there. Okay, so now all we gotta do is just kinda edit this thing. 
uh, make it easy and uh, to look at. So we're going to put this guy in here again, the, the download button. Okay, shrink it down a little bit, right like that. And now what we can do is we can actually go in and do, let's take him over here. We're going to go in and do canvas color white. That way it gets rid of that. And we are going to take a portion of this. We should be able to, yeah, we should be able to take a portion of this like this, just kind of copy it. And we could drag this down to the bottom. And because we made it white, it looks pretty cool. So there we go. Turn Marcus's, get Marcus's free blogging toolbar. All right, we'll get our download now button. Okay, and we're going to shrink it down and make it cool looking right like this. And there we go. Now we have a 300 by 250 banner that we can run. Okay, looks pretty good there. And we'll go ahead and hit File, Save As. And we'll call this one Banner J Chow 300. Okay? And you basically do the same thing with everything. Now, some of the different types of banners you can do. I like these little check boxes, uh, these little drop down boxes. They work extremely well. And um, also, you could do like little uh, check buttons, like if you were going to do something like, um, you know, insert form and we do a option button like this okay again all we're doing is using the button as an image so we could just put this here and put you know something like how much do you want to make online one thousand dollars a month okay get another one put two thousand dollars a month whatever right and then just uncheck this not selected and you'll have like a little option thing now because it's a banner no matter what they click they're just going to go to your site really really easy to do so this is basically how you make banners um, some of the places you can go as i showed you is by googling your niche see who has advertising you can go to something like buysellads.com and browse through and see what fits your category and kind of go from there so it's really really easy to do um, and we're going to talk about some more advertising types and different things like that in solo ads as well. I just want to get you in the habit of creating these banners in a really easy way. So make some banners, have fun, and I'll see you in the next video. Again, I'm Marcus from AffiliateMarketingDude.com, and these are my lovely banners that you can now make super easy. Thanks again for watching. See you in the next video.